So they'll be calling you a radical. Now I'm going to take it for granted that everybody's watching this video has read the book 1984. Or they've at least watched the movie. I mean, you can at least look up clips on YouTube of important parts of 1984. And you do know what the whole Orwellian thesis was. Now, didn't Orwell come out of MI6? Yeah. Wrote that in 1948, 47. And, you know, the very Freudian scene that is just tells the whole movie is simple. When they're stretching. And he's Winston. His name's Winston. And the brainwashing, the social, it's all about social engineering. I mean, those passages in that book are masterful. It comes as natural as unleashing cattle onto the Argentine landscape. It comes as natural as unleashing, well, occupying a bird refuge. And so the it's all about social engineering and television and hypnotizing, controlling human beings' minds in a herd mentality. Winston, and Winston, ain't, he's not having it. He's the nail that sticks up. It's like, no. Nah, two plus two is four. No, no, Winston, Winston, no. And so they torture him. They go to work on him, you know. Everybody flees him, even Winston's girlfriend ends up going along. No, no, no. He's finally in so much pain and tortured so hard and they've abused him so hard he goes along. He says, no, no, okay, 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 okay. Two plus two is whatever you tell me it is. It's nine, it's six, it's five, it's 13, it's whatever. You know, it could even be, I guess, four if you tell me it is. You're lying, Winston. You're lying. What is two plus two? I mean, what is fucking two plus two? So, 40 years later, I've written a book. 20, 24. 2024. First page. How many nuclear core meltdowns, how many reactors melted down in 1986? Not to be accused of 1984. Two years later, after 1984, the hypothesis was that the social engineering would be complete or by 1984. 1986, the meltdowns, April 26, in the old Soviet Union. How many? I'm asking you right here. I love you. How many cores meltdown? I'm asking. I'm asking. One. One. Do you know what one is? One is one. Is one one? Now, do you know what a spent fuel pool is? Do you have any idea what a spent fuel pool is? When reactors are, after 18 months, cycle on the enriched uranium in the rods around the core that boils the water, they pull them up out, they put them in swimming pools and store them for, well, they're supposed to go into a cavern or somewhere, fairy tale. Then they put a new apparatus in their bundles. Their rods are made right here behind Ohio, Western Zirconium. There's seven rods per bundle, 21 per pack. They circle the core. They have pellets in them, care and so forth. So, how many spent fuel pools and spent fuel apparatuses were at Chernobyl? Can you any of you answer me? Zero. So, do we know what zero is? Zero. Zero, right? Zero. Right? None. It was a brand new reactor. So there's no spent fuel pools. So one nuclear core blew the fuck up. First time in history that a full core meltdown happened? Yes. I mean, we had the partial in 79 at Three Mile Island. Of course, Santa Susana in L.A., the Valley, even worse. Idaho National Lab. Chalk River, Mayak, Shellafield, which is wind scale. But that's the first one. So, okay, let's fast forward to 2011. 2011. 
March of 2011. March 11, 2011. Commonly known as 311. Not to be confused with the calendar opposite 911. Okay, kids? They lied to us and lied to us for all these years, but Kevin Blanks, this guy on the internet, day one told you they were meltdowns. Okay, so it took them 12 years. They wouldn't even say the word. They happened to Fukushima, Japan. They wouldn't even say the word Fukushima, let alone Fukushima nuclear meltdown. So now they're saying it. Now they're admitting what Kevin Blanks told you 4,780 days ago. 13 years ago, over 13 years ago. The day that it happened. How many nuclear meltdowns are there at Fukushima, kids? Can, it, can you raise your hand? Raise your hand if you know. What's that? Three? Possibly four. We know for sure at least three. That's been verified. Even scumbag TEPCO, even the United States DOE, everybody in the world now, that's the number they've decided on. Three. More likely four. Okay. So three. Now, okay. So three, right? Three core mountains. Okay, now three, one, two, three, right? So if we have one, one, how many is this? One, two, three. So is three more than one? Is, I, I'm, I'm just asking, is three more than one? Can you tell? No, 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 Blanche, no, Blanche, no, Blanche. One at Chernobyl is more than three. Well, okay, okay, okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. Even though 700,000 men entombed Chernobyl even had a minor operation on it, and at Fukushima, we didn't do anything, pushing in the ocean. The Margaret Houston. Okay, okay. All right, okay, 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 all right, okay. So, were there spent fuel pools at Fukushima, Japan? What? Eight spent fuel pools? There's seven reactors there. Seven. And only three of them melted down? How come the other four didn't melt down? Well, two of them weren't active. But my guess probably did. But anyway, we'll stay with three. How many spent fuel pools were there? Each reactor has now. Where's the spent fuel pools? They're up on top of the buildings, right? Yeah, because they were never designed for it. There's, there's swimming pools, and they sit in there. Every 18 months, more, another batch, more, another batch, more. These are, reactors are 40 years old. There's a lot of spent fuel there, right? And so there's seven reactors. They each have their own series of spent fuel pools. Then they have a common spent fuel pool. Why do they have a common spent fuel pool? Because they were experimenting what we call MOX fuel. MOX fuel in 1977 was ma made illegal in the United States. Oh, it's just that no good Carter wasn't, didn't Carter study nuclear physics in college? Wasn't he one of the guys that went into Chalk River? Yeah. They took seconds. Each individual went in there for a few seconds and got the melted debris. At, yes, that's Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Can't make it up. 1979. Well, that was Three Mile Island. Okay, okay. So we have three, right? Three. All right, kids. Now, let's go back. Let's go real slow. Not 1984. 1984 was written in 1948. By Orwell about social engineering. Okay. In 1986, we had a nuclear meltdown in the old Soviet Union called Chernobyl, right? One core meltdown, right? It, can we agree on that? Can we agree that there was one core that melted down? It was a graphite core that blew up. We don't even have to get in. I guess we don't even... Think about the fact that all these people came in and tombed it. Nasty, it was a horrible game. I mean, just a nightmare scenario. Okay, so we're agreeing, right? We all agree that that was one graphite reactor, the RBX, the new reactor, one that blew up. Okay, we're agreeing, right? Okay, now all these years that you went like this, the nuclear energy ampers have no fucking clothes. Kevin Lynch been telling you every day, but don't believe him. You know, Winston. Winston, where's Winston's girlfriend? Well, you read the book. Yeah, I know, we. That's where she's at. So, 
like everybody else. You can't handle the truth. You don't want the fucking truth. The American does not They're all in for SMR. So let's stay with this. Let's stay with this. So if there's eight spent fuel pools and three, and we can agree. Can we all agree that there was eight spent fuel pools there? Can we all agree that? By the reported, by everybody and everything. Is that what we're going to agree on? You can pick a number, but the reality is it's been widely reported. Typical, it's just an unarguable fact that there were eight spent fuel pools. Full of 40 years of spent fuel. Some of the biggest freaking storage loads of spent fuel on the face of the planet. We can all agree. That's an unarguable fact. So we got eight spent fuel pools full of all these apparatus that blew up. Not a hydrogen blast. Being widely reported and widely. Now they're using after 12 years, they wouldn't even say the word Fukushima, let alone Fukushima nuclear bomb. They went after Kevin Blanche, why he's in critical condition, but nobody protects me. No lawyer, no nothing, because I'm Winston. I'm Winston, the new Winston. So what is three plus eight? Can we agree that three plus eight is 11? Can we agree on that? Can we agree that three plus eight is 11? Okay. Spent fuel pools are every bit as dangerous as the core. Every bit. Every bit. Maybe even more because of the mass, uh, the, the, the giant quantity that was at Fukushima, Japan. Can we agree the jet stream moves left to right? North America's the downwinders. Can we agree there was a conspiracy in cover? I mean, that's obvious. It's unbelievable. The Pacific Ocean, the genocide of the Pacific, it's unarguable, but we won't even go there. TikTok, Diablo Canyon Park. Let's just stay with this. So let's stay with this. Now, Chernobyl had one core reactor, and it had zero tide pools, spent fuel pools. Can we agree that one plus zero? What's one plus zero, kids? Can we? That's the hardest. I mean, one plus zero is still one, right? Can we agree that? So one plus one is one. So one plus zero is one. Can we agree on that? Can we we agree that one plus zero is one? So one, we have one, singular, one. One is singular, right? Right? One means one. Like if you have, I mean, what would we use? What's the symbolism we could use for a little kid? Here we go. Is that one well? One. It's not two. It's not three. It's not four. It's one. One is one, right? One is one. Okay. One is one. You know, and by the way, I just read. The same day that Noah is saying the acute collapse that never happened, that they didn't report on the wells, is now some magically coming back. Like they told us the tide pools were coming back, and I had to go prove to you there wasn't. Just one fucking lie after another. When they, there was no well collapse, and then all of a sudden now there is a well collapse. It's better. It's like there's no meltdowns at Fukushima. There's no meltdowns. There's no, what are you talking about, Black? 12, 13 years later, they tell you that there is, and now it's Chernobyl's worse than Fukushima. Okay, okay, okay. Calm yourself, Jeffrey. Calm yourself, Jeffrey. So we're agree that Chernobyl was one, right? Can we all agree on that? I mean, if you don't agree with that, can you please leave a comment and explain to me that somehow Chernobyl was more than one core meltdown and had no spent fuel. If you have some breaking news or some information the rest of the world doesn't have, please share it. Okay, so we're going to agree on one. So... One. So, can we agree that Fukushima, Japan is at least three? Can we? If you have some information on this that is contrary to what I'm saying, Free, would you please share it? I, I'm transparent about my PhD. I put everything out there in a very organic, open way for God and everybody to see it. Including the center line hanging on my fucking jug remain. Including the scar on my fucking chest ripped open. I videoed all that while I was in the hospital. I, videos. Hard to watch, yeah. My chest 
you know, central lines, but I did it. Transparency matters, right? Right? So can we agree? And if you disagree with this, that there's at least three core meltdowns, possibly four, but we're going to stay with three. So if you have information that, that it's three, it's less than three core meltdowns, please share. Okay, so we're going to go with three. Okay, three, we have eight spent fuel pools. Now, we're in agreement that there's eight spent fuel pools. If you have any other information, please leave a comment and please let me know that you have information that no one else has. So, if we agree that there's eight spent fuel pools and they all blew to hell, what is three plus eight? Three plus eight is 11. Can we agree with that, that it's 11? Can we agree three plus eight is 11? Now, we can even just forget the spent fuel pools, but why would we do that? Because then we're falling right into Orwell's whole thesis, the social engineering. But why would we ignore the spent fuel pools? Of course, we can't ignore the spent fuel pools. There were eight fucking spent fuel pools there. So three plus eight is 11, okay? So we have 11. Chernobyl, we have one. And if you have any information on Chernobyl that it wasn't one core meltdown and it was something else, please share. Please share. Let's have an open dialogue about this. So we can agree that it was one at Chernobyl. 780,000 men and two. Now we know at Fukushima, the USS Reagan was sent in. 32 ships were sent in and we know they backed out and didn't do shit. We had hearings. Kevin Blanch was at all those fucking hearings court thing, so they didn't do shit. So we're going to, let's stay here with Orwell. All right, so every person who has reported that Chernobyl is the greatest nuclear meltdown in history and has reported that post March 11, 2011 is a fucking lying fraudster who needs to be sued, especially now when it's widely reported. They're, they're teaching this in school. My grandson, who was born just days after March 11th, he's in seventh grade now, and science teacher was telling him that Chernobyl is worse than Fukushima, and he showed up in class. I mean, he's raised by me. Come on. I said, you go back to school. She knows me, and you tell her that Kevin Blanche is my grandfather. Everybody knows me as the biologist, as the scientist, and you tell her that I said, if you can call me, whatever. You be nice about it, and you tell her that my grandfather, Kevin Blanche, is my grandfather that raised me, that Fukushima 3 is more than 1. He went and told her. She just, uh, yeah, yeah. She's been hypnotized like the rest of the world, you know, like 1984. So let's. One or 11 is more. Which is more? Can, can I ask you? So. You, they expect the world, well, has done, expect the world, This these social engineers who Orwell talked about, and I remember what Orwell called them, which he's pertaining to the CIA, MI6, and these KGB. That's exactly what he's saying is the social television. Well, we have video now. So, okay, Blanche, Blanche, which is more? One? Or 11, Blanche. 11 or 1? You don't have enough answers. 11 or 1? 11 or 1, which is more? 2 plus 2 is still fucking 4. You can split me open, rip my fucking heart out twice, try to fucking kill me, fucking get a bone marrow transplant, impoverish me, slander me, whatever. I don't give a fuck. 11 is more than 1, Blanche, Blanche. 11 is more than 1. When are you going to give in? When you, I'm not giving in. I'm not fucking giving in. Fuck it, I will not give in. 11 is more than one. 11 this is the greatest ecological catastrophe in fucking human history. And the rest of you could go along. I'm not fucking going along. I'm not fucking going. Two plus two is fucking four. And the rest of you fucks that gone along with this and these liars and these social engineers, fucking every byproduct that's happened to this fucking planet Earth, stock market makes all time high, Pacific Ocean died. It ain't a fucking coincidence. I've proven it. So you can go along with it. So this is the end of this fucking book. No, it's not. This is just a fucking page. The book is 2024. When did this book start? In 1959, when I was conceived. 
on the beach of San Onofre. My nuked fucking radiated father in the Nevada test say who died in the prime of his life of leukemia. I've been fighting these issues from fucking birth. <laughs> 311 is the greatest ecological catastrophe in fucking human history bar none. And the Orwell and sheep are so fucking hypnotized. They think their wealth is not their health. They think that Orwell on Balco, on chemo. And if you've never read 1984 or watched the movie, I like the movie almost better than the book. The movie's good. I love the movie. If you've never read it, at least watch the clips, a few clips and get up to speed. Kevin Blanche. 2024. You can torture me. You can split my fucking chest open, rip my heart literally out of my chest to the point I have a pacemaker. Harvest artery out of my leg. I mean, have my heart in half of pain for fucking years telling them your, the valve you replaced in 2017 is not working. AML leukemia in a bone marrow transplant center going in and out of a coma weighing 119 pounds with no pigment in my eyes. Blisters on my fucking tongue. Fucking kicked off Medicaid. No fucking money. Wiped out. Fucking teams of trolls slandering me at every which way you look to the point I got guns in my face twice. Fucking sleeping in a sleep bag. Nearly starved to death. And you think I'm going to fucking give in. I'm not fucking giving in. Never. Never. That's this book. 2024. I got news. 11 is more than fucking one. And no one entombed it. At least Gorbachev, the old Soviet Union, 700, they had the band that gave their lives to fucking shut that down and, you know, mitigate it at least. Not this time. We didn't do shit. Why? Because I know what happened in the situation room. Protect the nuclear energy crime syndicate who runs the world. They don't fucking own me. They don't own me. You know, Anderson Vanderbilt Gupta's at Fukushima, Japan. Him and Sanchez Gupta. Oh, nuclear meltdowns, nuclear meltdowns. They said it how many times on CNN? Then they come home after day six. Never mention again. Do you think that's even fucking possible? Wyden went to Fukushima. Said it's even worse than I imagined. Then he's told to shut up and never mentions it again. They don't mention it for 12 fucking years. Now they're mentioning in, as Kevin Lynch told you, the nuclear energy frogs have been boiled nicely. <laughs> two plus two is still fucking four. You ain't working on me, and it will never fucking work on me. Eleven is more than one. Stay in tune it. The greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. The greatest PhD in human history. Kevin Blanche. I fight on. Stay in tune.